All right, people, I'm back again. You know, I know every Christian is going to go through a phase when you want to find out the truth. You're not just going to start with the Bible. You're going to try to go outside of it because you figure it's something I need to know. It's more out there. Now, this is the thing where a lot of sheep get lost in the wilderness. This is where a lot of sheep get lost in the wilderness. They start reaching so far that they leave the Bible behind. But keep praying and see, I will be found of them that seek me. So if you're looking for the most high God, if you're looking for the truth, he's going to lead you right back to where you began. Where you gave your life to Christ at. If that's who you're seeking. You see, a lot of people don't really want to live under a standard. They want to believe in multiple ways. They don't like rules. So that's why they keep building upon foundation upon foundation. One of my brothers, my cousins was sending me a, when I was doing a video this morning, he was sending me different uh, articles and things about different religions, like how the Baptists started, how the Protestants started, how the Christianity started, how these other things started. Yes, the different religions were started by man, but the Bible was not a religion. It was a way of life. You see, men take things and distort things and do what they do. Just like the sorcerer back then. Just like many people do still to this day. They use the Bible because people love the word of God. Or they want it. But they would distort it to fit their own narrative. You see, take the, the Mormons. They use the Holy Bible. But guess what else? They use another doctrine. Now, I'm a Christian. Do I follow after Christianity? No. I'm a Christian according to the biblical sense of what I've read in there. If any man suffers, suffer as a Christian. Do you understand? Suffer as a believer, suffer as a saint. That's what I am. As far as the Christianity uh, religion, I'm no part of that. I'm not even part of a dumb denomination. I'm a follower of Christ. It fits the bill. Christian. All right. Now we got that out the clear. Out the clear. You understand? But you know, how can you have the Bible? Okay, what's a Mormonism? What's Mormon? Wow. They said they believe they worship the only true God because they got a different book than we do. The Catholic Church got so many different doctrines, it's ridiculous. You ever pay attention to the world we live in, people? Let me let me ask y'all a few questions. Like when you get married in the pulpit and they do those wedding vows, where they come from? I'm asking you a question now. Because <laughs> I always try to figure this out. I'd have been married too, and I get them same vows. I'm like, what book are they reading to? <laughs> reading from? Where they get the to have and to hold and all this? Where they, where they get all this stuff from? Now that's man-made doctrine, because I know it's not in the, in the Bible nowhere. Y'all really better pay attention to a lot of things. Like even the wedding rings, where did they come from? I don't know. But I got one on right now. A lot of things I ask my questions about it. You know why I wear it? As a reminder to myself. Houston, you are tied down. Glory be to God. I actually got three rings on. <laughs> three. Just in case I get in doubt sometimes. Hey, you still don't fornicate, Houston. McCullum Berry. You understand? Try your best not to be a man of God. You understand? That's why. I do certain things. Not because the world says do it. Because I have a belief system that I base off the Bible. And my whole entirety is based off the Bible. It's not based off of tradition. It's based off the word of God. Do you understand? You see, a lot of y'all are based off tradition. And a lot of y'all are trying to go back to tradition. So you mean to tell me you can watch uh, Black Panther and see all that dude with all them scars on his chest and say that looks good so you wouldn't you wouldn't mortify your flesh just to, for a beauty mark but we people do it all the time today tattoos and this and that I got a few tattoos too and a part of me want more the, the law is like that's good you got what you got you got them before you was born again stick to what you got don't add no more you're good you understand? 
You see, a lot of Christians, when you wake up, man, let me tell you something. When you wake up, you want to make changes. Right? You want to make changes. You do. You don't want to go back to the same way. I was arguing with my wife this morning. And it's weird. You know, yesterday uh, I was doing scripture on marriage and divorce. I didn't know she was going to hit me up this morning. Talking about, I'm going to divorce you. All right. Glory be to God. But you know, I read in the Bible, he talks about us believers not going to the court systems. Not trusting in the courts. Listen. Anyway, I'm just going to throw that out there. But it's kind of weird. I woke up in the middle of the night, about 1.30 in the morning, thinking about divorce. And here it is this morning. I got the lawyer already contacted. Okay. You can go to the court system. Let me tell y'all the truth. I've been married. This is my second marriage. The first marriage. I never went to the courts. She did. Now, it looks like my second marriage. I never had to go to the courts. She is. You see, when you start living by the word of God, he's going to make sure you live by it. He's going to let the others do what they do. I'm telling you people, stick to it. You won't never have to get your hands dirty a devil day in your life. <laughs> you won't have to go against the word of God. Because the Bible says you will know them by their, what? Their fruits. Their fruit loops. You'll know them. You know, am I mad at her? No. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you something that she says to me all the time. She says, I can't move on with my life with us being married. And you know what I tell her? Moving on with your life does not involve fornication. You see, a lot of people are trying to move on with their lives after divorce. They figure once they untie the knot, they can start living back for the world. And I believe that's what her belief system is because of the certain people she hang around. Free her. Well, I can free her, but she's still going to be under the rules and regulations of Christ. Because the thing is, she know better. And I taught her the word. So she know that just because the paper has been written, that don't mean it gives any man or woman the right to go out there and sleep around. You know what people do? They rush out and get a, engaged. Engagement and marriage ain't the same. You understand? It ain't the same, people. You understand? God knows my heart. God knows hers. And I'm going to stick it to that. I hate to bring my personal business out here, but I don't mind telling the truth. I ain't got no reason to lie. For what? The truth will set you free. You understand? But you know why a lot of people do these things? Because of false teachers and false prophets and false belief systems or false friends that tell you all these things. Well, I'll date you after you divorce your husband. Oh, <laughs> look at Satan. But well, let me tell you something what I always say. What God put together, let no man put asunder. But God can. So if God can put this marriage asunder without me getting my hands dirty, so be it. Glory be to Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, and the Father. <laughs> hey, people, I, I'm dead serious about this stuff. However, God can make me right. Make me right. This clears, clears, clear me of all this. But you know, the Holy Spirit is going to lead you all the way. Like I said, last night I woke up thinking about this. I wouldn't talk about it if it wasn't true. Woke up one o'clock in the morning thinking about divorce. I haven't heard from my estranged, my, me and my wife separated for a while. I haven't heard from her in about a week and a half. At least a week. You know what I'm saying? Oh, about a week and a half, right? And I dream about this. I wake up thinking about a divorce certificate being wrote, written on me. And I wake up to be revealed that a divorce. <laughs> Lord have mercy. God is good. I got to tell you about it. It's true. It happened. I'm not making this up. Come and lie what you want. I don't care. It's the truth, people. <laughs> that's what I woke up to I see a phone call and I didn't even say respond first she just went at it 
I'm talking to a lawyer, this and that. I'm documenting everything. Document. I don't care. I'm not worried about the courts. <laughs> but you know, I, I'm not mad at her. I think she's doing what she feels she needs to do. Do you understand? I don't hold grudges. If you're going to do it, do it. Don't make no sense us arguing about it. What that's going to do? Nothing. And if you can't, I'm going to hit you with scripture every time. It is. You ain't going to listen to it or you ain't. But people, he said, sin is produced when? Or you're drawn away by your own lust. You see, but like I said, like the Holy Spirit, somebody's always going to be there to wake you from your slumber. They had this man who was being seduced by a sorcerer. Somebody's trying to tell him the truth. I mean, tell him lies. And he sent Paul and Barnabas to expose him and give him blindness. God's going to expose your haters. Expose those who are against you. Sometimes it may be too late. It doesn't always work like this. He wake them up. He put them, he put him to sleep and wake him. And he wakes up. Sometimes you both go to sleep. He lets you both fall by your own counsels. It is what it is, people. That's what happens. It doesn't always have a happy ending. Sometimes God has to teach lessons. Lessons and lessons. They work hand in hand, people. Just letting you know. You need both of them. And it's okay. You know, but just pray that God send somebody moving in the spirit to you. He just sent plenty to me. And I think he's still going to send some. I'm sure he's still sending some to my estranged wife. I think he's still sending some to my ex-wife. He's still doing the same thing to many people. Sending people by the Holy Spirit to talk to them. But it's up to them to open up their eyes and see and receive the good news. And stop being seduced by other people. Misery loves company. You know, people, man. I wrote a song and about my situation, and I one thing the Lord told me about when I make music. Stick to the truth. That's all I gotta do. He said, tell the truth. Alright, so I tell the truth. No matter what I write about, I'm gonna tell the truth, people. And I write about a lot of personal things. It is what it is. If you don't want to hear it sometimes, uh, it is what it is, people. But I'm going to lead you to the truth because God is the father of truth. Let him wake you up. Have a blessed day.